Hey boys and girls, and welcome to Mineral Live. We're standing here in front of our uh, brand new, soon to be disassembled Rivian. Uh, Ben's with me, Ben Lindemood, um, who's in charge of the teardown. And um, what we're gonna do today is, Ben's gonna give you a little background on what we bought. And later on, we're gonna be looking around at the, uh, the gaps and some of the features that are associated with this truck. So Ben. Thanks, Sandy. So we have here a R1T launch edition. This is the $74,000 version of the vehicle. Uh, this color is LA silver. Uh, that's what Rivian's calling it. We have the 135 kilowatt hour battery pack. It's the large battery pack that they are offering. That gives us 70 MPGE and 314 miles of range on a full charge. This is the quad motor version as well. So it has 835 horsepower. Uh, this does accelerate really fast for a truck. It's around three and a half seconds, zero to 60. Not nearly as fast as the Plaid that we had, but this still moves really fast. Um, so far, we at Monroe have put about 600 miles on the vehicle. It's up to 850 or so right now. We've been doing a lot of internal ride and drives, so we can get a lot more feedback that we can show to you guys um, about what our associates feel about driving this. We do have some more uh, tests that we're going to be doing with this before we can start tearing it down. We're going to be going um, off-roading with it this weekend. We're going to be doing a tow comparison between this and a couple of internal combustion engine vehicles to see how it performs from an efficiency standpoint, as well as uh, the driving characteristics pulling a trailer. Um, and we are going to start taking the first parts off of this later this afternoon, actually. We're going to take the frunk out. Sandy's got some travel uh, things coming up. So we're going to take the frunk out. And we're going to look at the thermal systems real soon as well. So we want to get in there and really see what's going on. So we'll, we have a couple of things coming up this week. And then next week, we're going to get, really get into the teardown. We're going to start dropping the battery, start dropping the motor, see what Rivian decided to do in their first vehicle that we've been able to get our hands on. So that's the, the real quick schedule on what's coming up uh, and a little bit about this vehicle. We're very, very impressed uh, with, uh, or uh, let, me, let me talk for myself. Um, I'm very impressed with this vehicle. I have one. My wife, uh, let me rephrase that. My wife has one and allows me to drive it periodically. Um, it's really a nice vehicle, really nice. So let's go down and, and have a look at some of the stuff that's on here because um, I've had my vehicle for a little while and I'm relative, I'm very happy with it. Um, we had a few little problems initially with, uh, with um, updates and whatnot. Mostly what we found out, this was our problem, not the company's problem. But if we look at these gaps, uh, I mean, okay, this one here narrows down, but the gaps as a, as a whole um, are really quite good. These, uh, these trucks are really well built. I, I uh, for a brand new vehicle on the marketplace, what, what's, the, what's the number on this one? Where are we at? How, what build number was this? I'm not sure, I can take a look though. And this is the 3,364th vehicle that Rivian sold according to their VIN numbers. So we have a look at uh, the truck. It's been, um, it's a little bit dirty because people here at Monroe have been driving it, taking it home for the weekend, um, you know, just using it, I guess. And I'm telling you, everything here just makes me smile. The little lights that come on at night so that you, uh, uh, so that you can see your way to get into the car. Um, these um, uh, kick panels here, um, this is especially nice because the rockers never get dirty. And uh, I like that a lot. Well, not me as much as my wife likes it a lot because she doesn't get her pant leg dirty. I like the fact that I can raise and lower this all the time. Uh, right now it's fairly low and, um, and that makes it easy to ingress and egress. The, uh, we've been using the back seat as well and I'm telling you, this is a really nice back seat for, for uh, whatever you wanna do. Uh, as we move further back, we can see that, um, we can see that again, the gaps here and the gaps there, identical. And for a truck, uh, it's not usually as important, but obviously these guys were really paying attention. I, I, really, like, I really like the Rivian. 
And so the big question is, why do I like it? Uh, because it's well made. It does everything I want it to do. I, I love the fact that I can, I can push buttons and things open up. I love this aspect right here. And um, the ability to, to have this thing have a tonneau cover that, that's mechanical and, and basically structurally sound, or not structurally sound, but at least rigid enough so that I can feel comfortable. It's not like a tonneau that you throw on a top of a piece of canvas, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna break. I also like um, this feature. So here we've got this monster, I guess you could put a spare tire in it if you uh, feel anxious. But to me, um, I've already taken this part out. Um, I saw no value in it. So I, I removed it on ours and that just gives you even more storage space. It's, it's really kind of cool. I'm really, really impressed. The other thing I'm impressed with is, is the, um, is the amount of room that I can get in here. So if you want to flip this, yeah, you know, let's, yeah. If you uh, look at a truck normally, um, hey, we had that tape measure. Tape measure's on the table behind. Here we are. If we uh, if we take our little tape measure here, this is called a gooseneck hinge. Um, it's uh, this is this this gooseneck hinge has given us about nine extra inches of extended space over the top of what we've got here as far as the tailgate's concerned. That gives us a total space of, um, of seven feet. Um, seven feet is an awful lot. People pay an, uh, an extra uh, chunk of change to get an eight foot bed. Um, this would normally be a, um, probably around a 50, probably around, no, it'd be 54, probably about 54 inches with the, gate, with the gate up. With the gate down, it'd probably come out if it was normal. If, the, if this was a normal truck, it would be, um, it would give you, it would give you an extra 16 inches. But now, because of that gooseneck, um, like I say, we've got, uh, we've got seven feet. I'm really, really pleased with it. I, mine is dirty on the inside as well because of all of the stuff that we've been, uh, we've been taking from, uh, we're fixing up our house. And uh, I parked uh, five trees in here, or actually my wife uh, got somebody to park five trees in it and took them home, no problem. This is a really, really nice feature and function. Yeah. The other thing I like is these racks. Um, these racks, I have, uh, I have the, uh, uh, the roof and, or the deck lid rack. So these racks will either work here or will work on the roof. And personally, I, uh, I had nothing to do with the um, pricing or whatever of this vehicle. I know we paid 74000 for it, which is about the same as what I paid for mine. Um, <laughs> I gotta tell you, <clears throat> I gotta tell you, um, this truck is easily a hundred thousand dollar value. I uh, I think that uh, Rivian really should look at um, <laughs> jacking the price up. So anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be tearing this thing to pieces, and um, I think that uh, I think that we're gonna be uh, pleasantly surprised as we move through it. Um, I'm pretty sure that, well, I'll let Ben uh, give, me, give me some help here. I know that we've seen some things on the interior that you're not exactly happy with. Um, yes, there is. We have Carl coming up here. Uh, he's gonna make another video actually later yeah. this afternoon. That he'll be able to get into everything a lot more eloquently than I can about yeah. the interior, so. Yeah, so anyhow, um, oop. <laughs> You can stay, by the way, that's another thing. The tailgate is um, a little bit lighter than what we uh, normally would see, plus the gooseneck gives you a mechanical advantage. So there's some really cool things here. By the way, I have to tell you, um, a, gooseneck, a gooseneck hinge, like what's on the Rivian right now, 
Um, got me into a lot of trouble when I was trying to talk to the guys at Ford, a long, long time ago when I was at Ford, trying to convince them for the short bed to put that gooseneck hinge in and extend the, uh, uh, the cargo carrying cap capabilities. Um, it was not approved. Uh, in the olden days, people really and truly, um, if you were a truck guy, there were a lot of rules. Um, Plastic is for kids' toys, um, aluminum is for pots and pans, other things that they just lived by and they, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't budge on. So everything I see here tells me that this is a winner. Um, I really think that right now, right now there's uh, three car companies here in North America that I think are, are gonna make it. Uh, one obviously is Tesla two Ford Motor Company, I've already talked about that. And this is the third one. I think these are the new big three. Anyhow, okay, so now we're at the front of the car and um, I just wanted to show you a little bit about one of the other features I really like, which is the frunk. And this thing is really, really handy. Um, we've already uh, used this in our car, um, our, our Rivian. Um, the, uh, the storage capability here is quite, quite good um, but it gets even better when you start looking at how deep you can get this I'm really impressed um, I'd be even more impressed if these guys would put in is that a drain hole maybe I that is a drain hole. okay good so um, these guys and Ford have got the right idea um, this is a party vehicle as far as I'm concerned having this thing filled up with ice and uh, add all beverages. And then closing that lid again, does it get any better? That'll keep it cool and, um, and make it fairly available as soon as you need it or want it. Um, this is all hard plastic here, so uh, no problem as far as rotting and things like that. This is a great, I absolutely love this frunk. Um, I don't know if we've done uh, anything on this so far, but I know that it's coming out here shortly. It'll be one of the first things that's torn apart. Let's get rid of this. And the other thing I like is this cargo net. Normally I don't like cargo nets, but I already tossed stuff in here and um, actually I could get it out. It didn't get lodged inside. So the front to me, the, the, uh, the gaps are excellent. And the front to me is a really good, um, a really good feature. Really, really well done. Only thing is I can't find the button. Where did it go? Huh, here it is. Okay, so, and it closes by itself too, which is handy as far as I'm concerned. I like that. Anything to say, Sam? I'm good to shut, there's nothing left to say. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, I didn't I know. I mean, you. we were, no, we could, uh, no, I didn't know if you wanted to talk about the magnets here instead of having clips to hold this up or anything. And uh, here we can, I don't know if you want Actually, to talk about, here we can talk about this real quick. The installation of this is done with magnets as well instead of oh, snaps in. Oh, I didn't in. even know this. You're right, wow. that was something just uh, wow, that's to a, take a look at. Be, They've got uh, five magnets on the on this cover to hold it in place for installation much quicker than hitting yeah. snap fits. And then if they, you need to take it on and off. What for, why would you? I don't know why you on? would, but it's, it's set up to be able to come on and off. I've not looked underneath of it yet. Uh, well, I will tell you, this has got to be the most expensive way of uh, holding anything in place. Um, for, the, for the back here with these magnets, um, okay, I can see that because this opens and closes a lot, but I don't know why I would do that. Um, that's kind of like expensive. One thing I do like, uh, seeing as we're here, is um, that's your washer fill, washer bottle fill. And that's kind of convenient. Um, I still would like to have something where it's through the, through the, the, uh, the hood or the bonnet, whatever we're calling it today. But, uh, but all in all, uh, like I said, it's hard for you not to like all of the stuff that's going on here. But yeah, we can put this back on and yeah, it's just a real easy lineup and just yep. puts itself in. 
Yeah, I like it. All right. Yeah, we'll be, it. like I said, we'll be taking this out later today and we'll take a look at what's underneath in the next video. Cool. So what you're staring at here is um, some of our merchandise. Um, to me, it looks a little creepy, but hey, you know what? Um, if we sell these things, we can buy more of these other vehicles to help tear down, the, or sorry, to offset the cost of tear down. Um, if you're in a, of a mind, um, we'd really appreciate it if you could buy that or something else that you'll get more use out of. <laughs> so anyways, um, Thanks for supporting Monroe and Associates. Thanks for supporting the uh, Monroe Live YouTubes. And uh, we'll, we'll be talking to you again soon. Bye now.